Radio Networks. Hey, this is Allegra Johnson with AURN.com, and I'm here with the very talented Miss Danae Benton, who stars in the Book of Mormon. So, hello. Hi. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Oh, no problem. Now, okay, because I don't want to mess up your character's name, <laughs> well, who is your character? Tell me about your character in the Book of Mormon. Um, her name is Nabalungi. Mm -hmm. She is like sort of the youngest girl in the village um, in Kigal, Uganda, and um, the Mormon boys. Are be, their mission trip is to this village and so I'm sort of the one person who's listening to them and it's like oh maybe like they know what they're talking about you know everyone <laughs> else is kind of like go kick rocks but I listen to them and try to get my village to to convert <laughs> definitely definitely and the Book of Mormon okay we know the show is controversial but it is hilarious and very well written so give me your honest thoughts <laughs> what did you think when you first read the script I thought it was brilliant you know I grew up um, loving theater and stuff. So I had actually heard this show back in high school before I ever auditioned for it, mm -hmm. and I loved it. I feel like it's, you know, it's definitely in your face, but it has such a good heart and message yeah. at the end. You know, it actually ends up being pro-faith and pro, you know, um, helping each other out and all those sort of beautiful things, and it just sort of gets there in a very direct and fun way. <laughs> definitely, definitely. You have to have a good sense of humor to, be, to stick with it, but it's great. You do. And, and you mentioned that the show has a really good message. So what do you think that audiences will take away from the show? You know, I think it's funny, you know, Elder Cunningham, who's kind of the, he's sort of painted to be the screw up and he ends up mm -hmm. saving everyone. Right. So it's kind of like the, un it's the message of the underdog and of uh, believing in something bigger than yourself and sort of coming together and how love and like the general, the sort of bad guy <laughs> ends up, ends up like converting and have, helping everyone out at mm -hmm. the end. So it sort of does talk about the power of like, love and letting people be themselves and mm -hmm. honesty and the sort of golden boy ends up not really knowing everything right. and he he gets to change and grow too mm -hmm. so and, it's yeah and even your character you start off very naive <laughs> not mm -hmm. such the you know the sharpest tool in the box well yes you are but very naive and at the end you kind of go through a metamorphosis where it's like okay maybe it's not taking things so literal literal but you still get the message um do you see yourself in your character oh yeah <laughs> so much I feel like I don't even have to act. I've definitely grown <laughs> as you know an adult over the time, but you know, it's the first time I listened to it, I was like, oh, I definitely would have been the girl who's like, we get to go to Salt Lake City, you know? <laughs> Salt Lake City. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's it's also, but it's such a it's such a privilege to get to play something that's so close to myself because I can really connect to it, you know. Mm -hmm. We know that the show is traveling right now, but as a young woman, um, what do you think is the most challenging part about being on the road all the time and being an actor? And you know, it's very physical demanding you guys are singing and dancing and doing everything what is I guess the toughest part about traveling for you um you definitely have to stay disciplined and take care of your body because traveling you know it's so easy to get sick or get worn out so the more disciplined you are the more the better and um I'm sort of a homebody so of course I miss my family and things mm -hmm. like that but this is kind of like one of the dream gigs to get so you just you make it work and make the best of everything and they take really good care of us on the road too yeah. which makes it that much easier and finally i know we didn't talk about this but can you do something from the show for us <laughs> um i don't know i don't think so but definitely come see it okay in whatever city it's in it's a great mm -hmm. show you will not regret it definitely thank you so very much <laughs> thank you american urban radio networks is urban america's radio leader